I think the pinnacle of treatment in diabetes is the correct and My name is Dr. Ben Ng and I work in Mount Elizabeth Novena. My clinic is called Arden Endocrinology Specialist Clinic. I mean, diabetes can be catastrophic and devastating if not controlled. The problem with diabetes is number one, people don't have symptoms. And number two is that when symptoms and problems happen, they're usually very, very late. In other words, your organs start to fail. We call diabetes a multi-organ disease. In other words, it affects practically everything. It increases the risk of cancer, it causes eye disease, heart disease, kidney disease, and so forth. There are multiple issues. For example, diabetes is a leading cause of blindness in the world, the leading cause of kidney disease in the world, and then one of the leading causes of amputation in the developed world. So certainly, it leads to a lot of problems. The main issue is that you have to have diabetes for a certain amount of time before these complications happen. I think in some cases, diabetes can be reversed. But I think it's what you mentioned, pre-diabetes, at the end of the day, you're dealing with a condition in the earlier stages. Any condition, as you know, if you treat it early enough, you can potentially reverse. So to anyone who's listening out there, at the end of the day, the worse your condition is, or the longer you have it, the harder is it to reverse. If you just develop the problem, in many cases, you can certainly slow it down and in some cases, reverse it without medication. But I think it's very important to highlight the fact that something must be done. If, if someone says, I want to reverse my diabetes, but I don't want to do anything, then the answer is no. It clearly can't be done. Something needs to be done and the something can be medication in many cases or it's some kind of change within your lifestyle and diet that's going to improve things. I think the pinnacle of treatment in diabetes is the correct diet and lifestyle. And I think that's the most important thing. The challenge is to find out what is the correct diet and lifestyle for you. And that's the first marker. Following that, there are many, many different treatment options. As you say, injectables are there, but usually we reserve that for the much later stages. In most patients with diabetes, we can probably get away with oral therapy. And sometimes there are multiple, there are about eight different kinds of uh, diabetic treatment now. The challenge is to find the correct one for you, for your current lifestyle. And it's more importantly to understand that the treatment for diabetes can change depending on your lifestyle. For example, you are but want to be particularly fit for the next few weeks, then you know, you may need to increase therapy. If you say, I'm going on diet and I don't want to eat so much, you may need to change therapy. And it's important to realize for even those people who do not have diabetes, your weight goes up and down. Your lifestyle goes changes. And we should not subject patients who have diabetes to something where you must stay on the same diet all the time. Similarly, your treatment must change depending on what you want to do. I think, again, to answer that question, you really have to ask the first question is why? Why are you on insulin injection? Let's be very clear. The only one time you must be on insulin injections is that if you have no insulin left because we need insulin to live. So if that is true, then I'll tell you now, you can't go off insulin injections because you need insulin to live. However, if you are on insulin injections and your body's not responding well to insulin, I suppose in theory that's possible, but then you must do quite a lot of work to make your body more responsive to insulin. So it's possible, but essentially it depends on the degree of the deficiency and the problem. Well, I think for diabetes follow-up, it's important to again to realize there are many different types of diabetes, how serious it is. For most cases of diabetes, I think they can be followed up with their general practitioner. Many people get away with one tablet and they continue on, it doesn't get worse and it's very, very stable. However, there are certain cases where the diabetes is not controlled, despite medications and so forth. Those people need to be followed up more closely, but at a very minimum, everybody should be followed up every 6 to 12 months. We need to look for potential complications of diabetes, which are in the eye, the heart, and the kidney, and the feet, and that's very important to do as well. It's important to make sure they are checked, you know, and you follow up with the same doctor, so the doctor has all your records and follows up at the correct timing.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for your regular dose of Asian health information.